An ETF or an exchange traded fund is something that gives you exposure to an underlying index. So for example, if you buy the ETF SPY, you get exposure to its underlying index, which happens to be the S&P 500. A levered ETF is a particular class of an ETF that gives you exposure to the multiple of the daily return of the underlying index. So for instance, if you bought a double long ETF whose underlying index was the S&P 500, that levered ETF would give you exposure to two or three times the daily returns of the underlying index. And because these levered ETFs give you exposure to the daily return, in the underlying, if you hold these levered ETFs past one day, your returns can be unexpected and be very different from the move in the underlying index. And so in this series of videos, we're going to demonstrate how if you hold a levered ETF past one day, you're in fact making an extremely complicated bet on the path of the underlying. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over some basics and we're going to examine the payoff from buying a non-levered ETF. Buying a non-levered ETF is just the same as buying the underlying index since a non-levered ETF perfectly tracks the underlying index. So let's imagine that there's an ETF that on day one is worth $5 and on day 20 is worth $10. And so this means that over 20 days the price of the ETF went up by 100%. So what this means is that if we take $100 of our money and we use it to buy this ETF on day one at a price of five, then after 20 days our payoff will be such that our $100 will be worth $200, meaning that we will have a payoff of a 100%, similar to the move in the underlying index. So next we're going to look at what happens if you lever up two to one and buy the same ETF. So on the chart here on the right, we have the price of the underlying, which starts off at $5 and ends up at $10 20 days later. This is the price of the underlying. And now what we're going to do is instead of just buying the ETF, we're going to borrow some money from our brokerage firm and buy twice as much of that ETF. So over here we see that we originally had $100 of our own money and then in green over here we went out to our brokerage firm and we borrowed another $100. So now we have $200. So we take that $200 and we buy the ETF at a price of $5 on day one. So what that means is that on day 20 our $200 investment is now worth 100% more because the underlying went from $5 to $10. And therefore, if we bought $200 worth of this ETF, the value of that would have gone up to $400, which we show over here. But of course, since we borrowed $100 from the bank, which is over here, we have to return that $100. And so what that means is that after we return this $100, we only have $300 left. And so what we've done is we've taken $100 of our own money, bought this ETF with 2 to 1 leverage, and at the end of the 20 days, we've taken our $100 and we've turned it into $300. And so this implies a return of 300 minus 100, which is equal to $200, which implies a return of 200%. And so the point is, because we bought this ETF with 2 to 1 leverage and the underlying or the non-levered version of the ETF went up 100%, our payoff from levering it up 2 to 1 and buying it ourselves ended up being 2 times 100% or 200%. So now we're going to imagine the scenario where we have $100 and instead of borrowing money from our brokerage firm and buying $200 worth of the ETF, we buy a 2x long levered ETF that promises us twice the daily return of the underlying whose price graph we see over here on the right. And so you might be thinking that the payoff from buying this 2x long levered ETF should be pretty similar from the payoff of the graph we looked at before. This one over here where we borrowed money from the bank and bought the ETF. And so the question is, what should the payoff of this 2x long levered ETF be? And the important thing to realize is that given the scenario that we've drawn out over here, you don't have enough information to know what your payoff will be.
So if you know that on day one, the underlying was at $5, and then at day 20, the underlying is at $10, and this 2x long levered ETF promises you twice the daily return of this underlying, you don't have enough information to know what your payoff will be. And the reason you don't know is because your payoff will be related to the path that the underlying takes to get to $10. Meaning if the underlying follows this path, you'll have a different payout than if the underlying follows a path like this or a path like this. So the important point is when you buy a two or three long or short levered ETF, your payoff will be related to the path that the underlying index follows.